Forgive me for my fragmented word in here. I am a mess and don't really care about making this an A plus essay. I had what I thought was a great marriage. Been married to my wife since 2015. We combined families, five teenagers between the two of us. All out of the nest now, thank goodness. We both made a lot of sacrifices to make this work. I never trusted anyone more than I trusted her. I have never loved anyone like I loved her. I never had any reason to believe that she would be unfaithful to me. She was a realtor so she's on her phone a lot so I never questioned when she was texting all the time because that's part of the business. I'm working deals, she would say. Anyways, we recently moved to a new place about 8 months ago. I started getting frustrated with her because she was acting very distant and always on her phone. We recently bought her a new computer for work and I inherited her MacBook. Now, I have never once spied on my wife, but I was getting a weird gut feeling. So I logged into her profile on her and my MacBook and opened up her messages. This was about two weeks ago and was the worst night of my life. I discovered 14 chat threads of her talking to other men, most of them obviously trolling her for hookups. Three of those I have irrefutable proof from the conversation that they actually met up and were physically intimate on several occasions. The ones she hooked up with didn't seem just physical. At least two of those she shared her heart with them. I can't even get into all of the details, there was so much. Anyways, I spent the rest of the night until about 5 a.m. going through all of them and saving them on a PDF, then on my Google Drive for safekeeping. I confronted her with the evidence it has obviously been a very rough couple of weeks. She acts extremely contrite, has told me how sorry she is for hurting me and that she doesn't understand why she did it. She blocked everyone on her phone. She started seeing a psychologist, joined support group and all of that. I am completely devastated, wrecked and I have no control of my emotions lately. One minute I'm so angry, I want to break everything around me and go kill this other man. The next minute, I'm depressed. I had to tell my best friend, so he's the only one who knows. But I wear my emotions on my sleeve so all those close to me know something is up. I'm not sure why I'm posting here. I just need some sort of outlet besides stewing in my own head. She wants to work it out and reconcile. However, after all this, believe it or not, I still love her. I thought she was my soulmate. And she's doing everything I would expect someone in her position to do if they truly are sincere. But I just don't know how I can ever possibly go back to the way we were. Trust is everything to me. I keep seeing those conversations playing over my head. It's one thing if it's just one affair, which is what I see mostly on this site. But this is multiple men on a very short period. How can she lie so easily and do this? I don't know if I could ever be physically intimate with her again. There are a lot more details to this that I just can't get out in one brain dump. I don't expect anyone to respond. Just trying to purge some of these feelings I'm having. I'm in hell right now. Update. Thanks for all the replies and concerns, folks. Yes, I have already scheduled an STD test and I have demanded she do the same and she showed me the results. And yes, I do know repeats happens. I just don't trust her anymore and I don't think the path of reconciliation is the one I want to take, regardless of my feelings for her. I think that's why I'm so heartbroken right now. I just want what we have back and I know it's gone. She's been completely transparent at the moment. I have access to all her media, including ability to track her location. Then is, that doesn't make me any happier. I don't want to leave in a detective mode. I just wanted to trust her in the way I knew she could have always trusted me. I am 50 years old, not bragging but I'm pretty good looking guy and I turned down several offers from other women over the course of our marriage because I couldn't live with myself if I have done something like that. I read on here not to make quick judgment. I just need to figure out what I'm going to do because it's hard enough getting over the hurt. I don't think I can possibly get over it to the point where I could trust and love her the way I did. I'm rambling again. I have so much I want to say but I can't put it into words. I need sleep. Update. 
Bear with me, I'm in this stage where I'm not sleeping very well and I'm not thinking straight. I do know this. There's no way I'm going to spend the next two to five years of my life trying to find the semblance of what we once were. As much as I love her, I didn't sign up for this. I am 99% sure that I'm moving forward with a divorce. All of the points y'all make are spot on. To try to answer some of your questions, she's being transparent as far as I know. I have access to everything. I'm tech savvy as well, so I know about hidden apps as well. Where did she meet the folks she cheated with? Mostly on Facebook. One of them I don't know directly. Regardless, it doesn't really matter. She threw away all we had together. I'm going to move forward with a divorce as soon as I'm thinking straight again. My goal of telling my story is just to have a brain dump to deal with the roller coaster of emotion I'm having. Update. I appreciate the kind words and yeah, I understand the intent of all who chim in. I don't need kids gloves either. I'm a big boy. I won't be posting something like this if I have thin skin anyway. You know that list of what you posted of what a remorseful spouse should look like? She checks every checkbox. No joke. Everything you listed, she's doing. That's the part that makes this so hard right now. Part of me wishes she was blatantly rug sweeping. That would have made it so much easier for me. But the fact is, this would be hard enough if it was just one affair. But there are three that I know of for sure that she hooked up with. Many additional attempts. And that's just what I know of. Then reading the details of the dialogue between her and these people. How can I fix this? I can't. I'm so effing broken right now. Not looking for sympathy, just venting. This is the end of the post. Now let's go over some of the top comments and responses from the original poster. Reader comments. Sometimes a wife having multiple men other than her husband is just a deal breaker and nothing can fix it. Original poster. Yeah, that pretty much says it all, doesn't it? Reader comment. Very, very good move to divorce her. Original poster. Yes, I know. FYI, I have already spoken to a lawyer. Reader comment. You said you had a blended family. Is your marriage her first? If not, how did the other marriages end? Original poster. No, we were both previously married. All kids from previous marriages. At one point, we had five teenagers in the house. Her previous spouse was emotionally abusive and she left him. At least that's the story I got. As far as my previous marriage, this is not my first rodeo. You guessed it. My first wife cheated on me as well. I tried to get back together with her after a year or so for the kids sake. But that was a huge mistake. Could never get over it. And that was just with one person. Nowhere near the train wreck I'm dealing with now. So yeah, I'm apparently a magnet for cheaters. Hard not to think there's something wrong with you when this kind of stuff repeats itself. Read a comment. It's unlikely a cheater went 100% cold turkey and shut it all down on day one. Do some more checking. She's hiding a lot. It is normal to hide and lie about it. Self-preservation mode for her. Blow it up. Sunlight is the best disinfectant in the world. Notify their wives. Inform your entire family and all your kids why you are divorcing. Meet with a lawyer, have the paper drawn up, and go full shock and all. Anything less will be perceived as weakness and will be used to manipulate you. Good luck. You are in a hard place. Original poster. I agree with you. I have more digging to do. Just need a break from it. I am exhausted from uncovering so much. I don't so much agree with your scorch earth approach, but I get what you're saying. I don't want to turn everyone against her. She obviously has a problem. Turning her and my kids and my parents against her isn't going to make it any better. Read a comment. Probably a good thing to talk to a therapist and see what you can get from that. You seem determined on divorce, which is right and understandable, of course. I think what I would do if I were you is not to tip your hand and get your finance and such in line. Who is going to move? Insurance, banking, credit card, and etc. Get all those sorted out and then drop the divorce on her is my advice. Good luck to you. You have already talked to an attorney, so you are ahead of the game right now. Listen to your attorneys, not yahoos like us on the internet for what you can and cannot do. People will tell you a bunch of scorch earth things to do that may not technically be legal. But if you have been divorced before, 
you know the drill. Original poster. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, that's the plan. Just going to take it step by step, one day at a time. My biggest challenge now is managing my emotions. Only two weeks after discovering this, which no joke was literally the worst night of my life in 50 years. I'm still struggling to keep a level head. I go from blinding rage to tears within a span of minutes. Part of it is lack of sleep. I am proud of myself though. I shudder to think how the old me would have handled this. I likely would have been in jail right now if that were the case. But I have kept my composure and I've broken only a few things in my house. My punching bag in the garage have taken the brunt of my rage. My point in saying all this is before I can rationally take the necessary step toward divorce, I need to be able to trust my mindsets so that I can make a good decision. Anyway, just venting here today makes me feel a little better. I appreciate everyone's input.